In this video, my grease gun has run out of grease. And uh, I think the only sensible course of action is not to just jump into 2CV and go and buy some grease. Uh, it's probably to dig out the Invercar and go for a drive in that instead. Because I haven't done that for ages and I would really like to. Uh, I should be tidying up this mess, but you'll see the engine hoist is now upright again. So that's progress. And I have actually taken quite a lot of stuff out of this area and taken it to the tip. It's just you can't see um, any difference at all. So uh, yeah, we, we need to get took out, I've decided. Today's the day. I started today, I woke up, I was like, I need to get a video out tonight. I've no idea what it's going to be. It's going to be me getting took out. So um, I need to get Bella out, first of all. And then move some stuff, got engines and compressors and whatnot. And then hopefully we can get a little took out. She's been sat there for many, many months. Poor took. So she needs to come out. And stay with us, because there is exciting news, there will be fleet changes very very soon a vehicle will be leaving the fleet dun 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 which one you'll find out next week um the fun all kicks off on monday so uh yeah stay tuned we'll see updates or something but yeah something will be leaving so uh cars not here we've got um ellie is here bella is here miss daisy is here giselle and Myrtle are lurking up at the back behind Bob the folding camper. Tuck is here, of course. Uh, I've got the um, half a million mile Picasso is parked somewhere else on site. And at home, I've got Betty the Ford Fairmont and Shemi the Sherrard. So yeah, too many cars, too many cars. Um, but I'm gonna start by getting this one out of the way. Well, this might be plans changing right here because Bella sounds absolutely dreadful. It sounds like she's dropped a cylinder somehow. How has she dropped a cylinder? I was going to cycle the ignition a few times. I don't know if she'll run um, the uh, uh, glow plugs. It's not quite cold enough, but. Yeah, you can you can hear that. That is skipping and missing all over the place. What's up, Bella? Okay, seems to be running all right. Now, now she's running on all four cylinders, because... Or is she? Uh, hmm. I think we've got an injector going down. There aren't too many things it can be on it. But then an injector wouldn't mean the compression down. Let's start her again. Oh, that's more like it. That is how she should start. Hmm. I wonder if I actually need to take this one out for a run instead and uh, get the oil all up to temperature and everything because that is a worrying development. This car has never, ever let us down, apart from the suspension going twang, but um, that wasn't really her fault. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might have to go for a run in this one. Okay, I'm going to get her out, leave her running and uh, rearrange other vehicles. I've got to get Miss Daisy out so I can get Ellie in behind. It's um, quite a complicated little setup this, but yeah, we might find ourselves going for a run in Bella de Bolingo, who I've put tax on again, so she's um, road legal again. And uh, yeah, at some point I do need to film a comparison between this car and the uh, Picasso, and I need to do that fairly soon because at the end of the month, the Picasso will no longer be with us. But uh, yeah, slightly worrying development. Hmm. Right then, uh, Ellie will go next to Bob, but uh, not in a way that lets me get out the door. But thankfully I can ping her into neutral under the bonnet and then simply push her back. Uh, make sure we're not hitting anything that side. All good that side. Bear in mind there's a rather lovely GSA behind Ellie at the moment. I think that's quite close. That's nowhere near, we've got loads of room. That'll do. Hopefully Miss Daisy will fit in front. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, these little Daihatsus are just magical. Mm. 
He's up back. He's only got a dinky little nose. Is that is that enough nose in yet? Oh, we've got loads of room at the back. But I think she's in anyway. So that's cool. Let's do a bit more exhaust drying. Lovely little noise there. And she's got herself fully up to temperature in the time she's been sat there. And uh, so now the plan was to get took out, but because Bella's causing me a concern, I think I should take her for a run. So we're gonna do that. Actually, before we go for a drive, I'm gonna change this. This is the Siemens MAF, mass airflow uh, sensor from past the Picasso. Ashley, I hope you don't mind me just borrowing it, but I wanna try and prove a point. When I said to my MOT tester, Phil, uh, or the chap who runs the garage anyway, um, I've got a problem with my Berlingo, it's running badly at low revs. First thing he said was math. And I said, well, I've replaced it. And I said, well, I've got this Picasso, but I'm borrowing, and it drives beautifully in a way this doesn't. He goes, well, why don't you swap the maths? That's a great idea. Obviously not a long-term solution, but it will indicate whether a cheap eBay math was a good idea. It wasn't even a cheap one, it was kind of mid-range, but apparently they are very, very fussy when it comes to mass airflow sensors. I don't think that's responsible for this morning's issue. I don't know what that was. Was it oil pressure? Not enough oil pressure to get the um, hydraulic tappets. I assume it's got hydraulic tappets. I don't know. Uh, just guesswork here, guys. But yeah, all I've got to do is undo that, put that in there, and uh, oh no, that isn't going to work. Actually, it's a slightly different fitment, annoyingly. I might be able to get it to work well enough to prove a point, so I'm going to do it anyway. There we go, got the wiring connected up. It's just shoved in there, and it may not be perfectly airtight, but uh, given that leak is ahead of the math, I think we'll be all right. So let's give her a start up and see if she runs okay, first of all. There we go. The oil, the electronic oil dipstick is running particularly badly at the moment, right, yeah. Sounds all right. Let's go for a drive, see if it's made any difference. Let's not leave that screwdriver there. Need to uh, wash the windscreen first of all. It means unleashing Bella's horrendous triangle of doom. Horrendous. Well, we've gone for a few miles just to get um, everything up to temperature. But has it actually worked? Feels compared to the Picasso, the Picasso is not exactly a ball of fire, but this just feels a little lacking compared to that. Right, we're into a 50, gonna come into a 30, and then we're gonna um, just potter along in fourth gear. Oh no, I can already feel it. We're doing 40 now and it's still uh, 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 uh. So at least I can conclude that uh, spending even more money on a better mass airflow sensor would be a complete waste of time. So I can avoid doing that. Yeah, we're doing 30 now and I can just feel it. It's just rocking a bit, like it's not firing cleanly on all cylinders. So I think what I need to do is um, do a full leak down test uh, on the injectors. I know people are screaming at their tellies because I've been saying this for ages, but I haven't actually got the stuff I need to do that. It's some windscreen washer pipe probably um, to replace the return lines and um, some little cups um, that are identical so you can measure the amount of fuel being bypassed by the injectors so uh i think we will now now we've got bella out and we've run her up to temperature i think i'm going to go back to my original plan i think i'm going to get took out but a fun little experiment there so thanks to phil for suggesting it but we can apparently eliminate the math from our inquiries that on its own is not responsible for the issues we are seeing